Hey guys, Chad over Kayak Bass Fishing, and today I'm going to talk to you about a product that you should have if you're going to winter fish or fish in water when you're wet. All right, so on my last couple of videos talking about winter fishing gear, I forgot to talk about the feet, and I did, I showed it, but I didn't really go in depth. So there was a lot of people asking questions on there, and I've got a product here from NRS, and you guys all know that I am a, uh, a, a sponsored team member of NRS. I'm on the fishing team. I love their products, um, and I had absolutely nothing to do with the design of this product. This is one of those ones that came out, and they sent it to me, and I was blown away by the quality, and at the same time, I was like, man, how come I wasn't involved in this? So I was a little bit kind of, you know, come on, guys. But anyway, they crushed it with this thing. Now, when I first saw it, I thought, well, gray, that's an interesting color. Uh, but when I got out in the water, I really started to appreciate it. I use my wet shoes as a, you know, a year round kind of thing. I keep them in the truck. If that opportunity to jump out in a creek presents itself, I like to have a pair of wet shoes. Uh, if that opportunity to go on a quick trip and it's a little bit cool out, or if I don't want to get my feet sunburned or something like that, then I'll throw wet shoes on. Um, I do a lot of barefoot fishing, okay? But I, even when I'm barefoot fishing, I'll have these inside the kayak, you know, up in the, uh, up in the, uh, in the forward hatch, so that if I need them, if I've got to walk on oysters in salt water, if I've got to, you know, get out and walk on some sharp shell rock in the river, uh, that I've got them, okay? But here's one of the unintended things about these booties that I really love, or, or there's a, actually a couple, so I'm gonna kind of walk through them. Uh, these are called the backwater wet shoe. Uh, they're lightweight for their size. Um, this curved angle where it comes up on the back, it has a cutout so it doesn't wear out the side of your ankle, and then this doesn't rub the back of your, your, your ankle and your calf is phenomenal. Uh, this little uh, Velcro zipper keeper is one of those little simple, you know, things that you don't think of. The little inside arch support is pretty cool because it keeps them from spreading out and getting so loose uh, that they fill up with water and they're like squishy when you're walking on them. And then the way that they designed this, um, this tread is just phenomenal. It works great on slick boat ramps. It works great on rocks. Um, I no longer need a pair of felt shoes and a pair of rubber. These rubber shoes with the way that these uh, cleats are both deep and the raised ones, they're just phenomenal. So it's some of the best grip uh, that I've ever had. But a lot of people have the same problem that I have, and that's all booties were black, okay? And so on a sunny day in the wintertime, you wanna keep your feet warm, but then when you, <laughs> you know, you get out there and your black shoes are sitting in the sun for two, three, four hours, your foot's not only warm, it's roasting. And so when these things came out in gray, I didn't realize it until about the third or fourth trip I did where, you know, the overnight lows were in the 30s, but in the middle of the day, it got up into the mid 60s and 70s and the sun was shining all day that my feet didn't get hot. Now, I'm one of those people that realistically could probably fish, you know, barefooted down to about the mid 50s, high 40s because I'm just, probably because I'm fat and so I've got that like insulative body layer and it's just one of those things that doesn't, you know, bother me and I think when you're fat and you've got fat that is covering your torso your body doesn't have to send blood to your core to keep you warm so therefore more of that blood stays in your extremities that's just my theory um, I'm not a doctor so don't hold me to that and I'm not like a physiologist or kinesiologist or any of that I'm just saying I have a pretty high tolerance for cold in my hands and my feet I do love my NRS gloves but I want to talk about these booties because they're probably one of the smartest, um, nicest products that I have picked up from these guys that is year-round versatility. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Sidewinder bibs. I'm a big fan of the paddling pants and the paddling tops and, you know, all the great products from NRS. But if you're looking to make one purchase from NRS, if you're looking to make that thing that you're going to get year-round versatility out of that's going to serve you uh, both fishing, walking, wading, the whole nine that's gonna keep you warm and it's a wet shoe. It's not waterproof, but that's why it's called a wet shoe. So when it gets wet and it's neoprene, it warms up that layer of water between your skin uh, and the neoprene and that's how your body heat does uh, and that's how they keep your feet warm. I like this protected toe. Uh, I think it's phenomenal for wading and kicking rocks and walking through oysters. I think it's a lot of protection um, you know, from a lot of different things and it's definitely a lot of protection from that leading edge of your boot uh, wearing through where your toe rubs against stuff. So 
Big fan of these. If you're looking to add a pair of really nice wet shoes, uh, order a pair of the wet socks to go along with these for a little extra insulation, but these work great with the Sidewinder bibs. They work any stocking foot uh, waiter out on the market. These would be a great compliment to it. Uh, and they're probably the best wading shoes. Uh, well, no, not probably. They're definitely the best wading shoes that I've ever used. So the backwater wet shoe from NRS. And while you're at it, you can also pick yourself up one of these nice kayak bass fishing hoodies. Show your kayak bass fishing love with branding like this. Anyway, shameless plug by Chad Hoover. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.